guys. I'm going to do a review today on an installation on this Pure Gear Pure Tech Roll-On Screen Shield Kit. And this kit's pretty cool. It actually um, aligns the phone perfectly so that you don't have to place um, the screen shield protector exactly on the phone. It does it for you and also you don't have to use any liquid, which I've actually had a problem in the past where I followed directions to a T and I still got liquid into my iPhone. So this is actually for the Samsung Galaxy S4. And uh, let's open this up and see what's inside. So we have a easy tear open right here. And it just opens up. And this is actually reusable. It's a reusable tray, which is pretty cool. You can just order more screen protectors if you need it. And here's some directions, it looks like. So let's see where this guy is. I think you actually have to take it out. Yeah, it's behind here. So I actually have to take it out of the packaging. All you have to do is there's actually only three steps. Um, you just lift this first screen part, which is actually the screen protector itself, and um, you put your phone into this little tray that perfectly fits your phone, and then you're going to slide this little roller across it, and it actually puts the shield right on for you. And it does come with a little cloth um, to wipe your phone down. A little trick for you guys that's worked for me in the past is actually using a pillowcase that's kind of like sheet material. Don't use anything that's fuzzy or fleece, but if you use a pillowcase, it actually has very tight fibers so the fibers don't come off as easily. And I like to wipe down my phone really good with a pillowcase and it actually works better than um, a, you know, a cloth or a lint-free cloth or whatever you might have. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my phone off while I do this so that I don't do anything I don't want to happen. And um, the roller is actually in the back of the packaging, so you have to take apart this and get the roller out. And it's right here in the back. It just pops right out of there. And this is actually something they recommend afterwards is to use this to smooth out any bubbles if you do have any. But they, they do guarantee this for the life of the screen protector. So um, if anything ever was to get scratched or torn, you can uh, just contact them and they'll send you a free one. So let's get started with this. I'm going to go ahead and use their cloth just to be able to give a full review on this because this is what they sent inside the packaging. Make sure your hands are clean before you try to install any shield protector too. You don't want any grease or just regular hand um, oils getting on your phone because that will impact the shield. All right, I'm actually gonna detach this from the packaging, make it a little bit easier, set that aside. All right, so again, it says just lift this up Put the phone inside and make sure that it's in there all the way. One last wipe down. I don't see any fuzzies. And then you put this back on top. And then you set the roller. It even has arrows to show you which direction it goes in. So you set the roller down and you're going to slide it over the phone and over the shield. It does get a little bit to start. And then 
the other part just comes out at the bottom, which is pretty cool. And this shield is also case friendly, which is nice so that it doesn't come off or damage. Um, look at that, that's pretty, pretty nice. There's no bubbles, there's no nothing. Now this is the tricky part. You actually have to um, peel off this 3A, 3B part, and it says slowly peel off a long screen surface. And I watched a couple other tutorials on YouTube, and this is where they screwed up and messed up the screen protector. So I'm going to try to see if I can avoid that. Um, here we go. So it says one side and then the other. It actually rips in the middle. That's cool. Okay, got one side. And the other. Let's pop my phone out and see how that worked. I do see a little bit at the top where I peeled that off but not that bad. So I think I'm gonna try the roller and see if that bubble will just come right out. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like right there, but actually I think I caught it. Wow, pretty perfect. And those fuzzies are on the outside of here. And it actually, I'll tell you about the screen itself, it does have a little bit of an orange peel effect, kind of like the Zag, but not as bad. And it's not sticky at all. I'm going to try to get that a little bit better. A little OCD about that. There we go. That was easy. Probably the easiest installation of a screen protector I've ever done. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on and see how it reacts to the touch screen. Alright, swipe. Oh, easily. Immediately reacted. No problems at all. That's one of my main issues with a screen protector. So it has kind of a delayed effect, but that didn't have it at all. It's like I don't have anything on there. Now you can see that they actually didn't go um, up to and around these different um, sensors, which is great because you don't want it to impact the sensors at all. But let me just show you that it does have, um, it's perfectly placed on both sides. And it does give you a little bit of edge for a case, probably I'd say maybe a millimeter or a half a millimeter all the way around. And it's perfectly around the home button. The home button's actually cut out. And it does not have a bottom part. It just cuts out like a, a U shape. And then all the way around. And the funny thing is, is I didn't know if it would be equally on both sides, but the same amount of distance that it gives you for a case on this side is exactly on the other side, which might not be important to many people, but for me it is. I just want to make sure that it looks like it belongs on the phone and not like you just put it on, you know, haphazardly or haphazardly. So this is um, a product definitely that I will use and keep on my phone. Um, I would recommend it. It's very easy installation. Three steps. You lift the cover, put your phone in, and roll it over. That was, you know, easier than any shield protector I've ever used before. So again, this was a review on the Pure Gear Pure Tech Roll-On Screen Shield Kit, and I just got this from Amazon. I think it was, I have Prime membership, so I get free shipping, but, um, Without shipping included, it was, I think, $15, $15.02 or some odd number. 
Um, actually, that's an even number, but you know what I mean. So you can get it on Amazon for a lot cheaper. You can go out to Pure Gear and get it um, from their website itself. Um, but Pure Gear actually does sell it on Amazon as well for um, less than they do on their website. So, you know, check it out either place. I'll put a, a link into uh, the down bar where I got it from, if you'd like. And I would definitely recommend it. Thank you for watching. This is ABC Glen 03, and I'm Ashley, and I'll see you next time.